Three people have been arrested for the murder of a 19-year-old woman, and one of the suspects includes an airman stationed at Travis Air Force Base. Only two of the three suspects did appear in court today. Reporter Marissa Perlman live in Fairfield with more on this case. Marissa? Yeah, two uh, brutal details uh, playing out here in Solano County Court this afternoon. As you mentioned, only two of the three suspects making their first court appearance in front of a judge. That Travis Airman charged as an accessory to murder. He bailed out, and tonight we're learning he's back on base. There's just no reasoning. There's no reason. Monica Beecham, Leilani Beecham's grandmother, is still trying to wrap her mind around how her granddaughter's life was taken. I mean, it's just beyond the pale of what I expect from humanity, what Leilani deserved. She did not deserve for her life to end this way. Leilani, seen here posing with her father, Steve, was known as feisty and smart as a whip. She had a lot of people that loved her, just a big, fun family. 21-year-old Jessica Quintanella from Pittsburgh facing a judge for the first time, charged with shooting and killing Leilani inside the home of a Travis Airman, 20-year-old Juan Para Peralta. The district attorney says it's believed he and Quintanella were in a romantic relationship at the time of the murder. It looks like it could be uh, a love triangle situation. The airman and the suspected shooter's brother, 27-year-old Marco Quintanella, are now both facing accessory to murder charges. Fairfield police say Leilani, originally from Carmel, was last seen early Saturday morning leaving a Halloween party in Sacramento. She left with two active duty Air Force members and ended up at Para Peralta's home. Police say her body was found abandoned in Monterey County yesterday. Her family says she knew the airman before the party and had even been to his Fairfield home before. She didn't leave a party with people she didn't know. But Leilani never made it home. Her family now left to pick up the pieces of what they call a senseless killing. It's just unimaginable what happened. Well, the airman noticeably missing from court this afternoon. Leaders at Travis say he bailed out on $25,000 bail and is back on base tonight, still on active duty. We're told he's under the watchful eye of his sergeant and commander. In Fairfield tonight, Marissa Perlman, KPIX 5.